2024. The time is 8.45 p.m. Welcome to another live stream. And tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a live stream. And we have Sharon L., Nick Johnson, David Megermaid, Kosla. And welcome everyone for a nice stream. How are you guys doing tonight? And we got 10 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. I'm doing good. My Friday is going very well. So how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing good. The weather here wasn't that bad today, but the only thing is that it was down to 49 today. 
So it was like, you know, it was kind of cold, but uh, it feel like 34, but we didn't have no rain. But the only thing is that the weather was, it's not that bad today. And Caddy, you're looking. Welcome in for a nice stream. And tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a nice stream. My favorite hotel to stay in is at the Franklin Wax Museum. Oh, nice, Kosla. I'm eating my wrap. I always wanted to go to Orlando close the Halloween and stay at the Universal Resort because they scared the living heck out of you. That's a good one, Caddy. I would rather to go into Salem or somewhere else for Halloween. Oh, nice, Kosla. But I know my favorite hotel to stay in is like the Super 8 Motel. I know Motel 6, Days Inn, Holiday Inn. Every time Ricardo say Kosla is a clap two times during the street, his stream. Nice one, Ko, nice one. I used to stay, you know, hotels that they serve like free breakfast too as well. And I know the breakfast there, they, you know, they give like cereal and all that stuff, you know, bagel and donuts and stuff like that. So I would like to stay, you know, hotel, they've, it's included with free breakfast. That's Western Inn. Yes. I never stayed there, but I heard about that one. Never stayed there before, but I used to stay at Motel 6 when I used to go on trips. And I used to stay at Super A Motel. And I used to stay at Days Inn and a Holiday Inn. And they also got more up there. They got the Hamden Inn. And they have uh, Quality Inn. So they do got a lot of hotels out there. Especially when you travel and you go like to Las Vegas or Los Angeles. I know... Their hotel there, they are very expensive. I know that for sure. Yeah, I went to the Hard Rock Hotel and the bed was like sleeping in a Hard Rock. Yeah, some bed could be hard, some bed can be, you know, soft. Back in the day, we used to stay in the days end of 195 and the rate were very low. The roof and always very yes, because I know some hotels they are clean and some hotel they're dirty because I know other people when they leave the hotel they don't know how to clean you know they don't know how to you know clean up clean it up but they always let the housekeeper you know to clean it but I know I mean I don't like to stay in a hotel that is dirty but if it's a you know hotel that is clean and the bed is picked up and everything and the bathroom is clean then I will stay in that hotel. He didn't say Kosla, so he only said Ko and smack and when he said it because he didn't want to clap. <laughs> and now we got 12 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining today. What do you guys have for dinner tonight? Welcome everyone to the stream. I had Taco Bell for dinner tonight. I had Taco Bell for dinner for tonight. I had the uh, the cheese quesadilla with a Dorito taco. And that was my dinner for tonight. That's what I had. For lunch, 
I only ate like uh, hot dogs. I eat hot dogs for my lunch. And then for my dinner, I eat Taco Bell. Yeah, many years ago, I went to this very high and stay at the heart and that was the hotel and some, but it was had the best cheesecake ever had. Oh, nice caddy, nice. When I used to stay in a hotel, I always liked their bagel. They always got good bagels there. So the only thing is, every single time when I go there, I almost, oh, I'm always eating a bagel there every morning. And here you go, everyone. If you guys want to know the name of the title, it's already on the night pot. But that is the topic for tonight. And now we got like 11 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining. And I just updated my night pot too. If you guys see that, wherever it says that, that it don't supposed to be happening in the chat. And now we're down to nine people, but uh, I do like to stay in the hotels. I mean, some hotel they got cheaper prices, but some hotel they are expensive. But the only thing is like motel sick, if you stay for one week, it will be like almost probably like 400, you know, like 400 and something. And uh, another one could be like 300 bucks. It depends how many days you're staying. Yeah, this show should have been uh, WrestleMania or wrestling. Well, that's about uh, sports, Kosla. We talk about sports that time. B wrestling is part of sports. <laughs> it's part of sports. Eh? We already talk about sports. We're talking about hotels. What is your favorite hotel to stay in? I know they do got a lot of them out there. They do got a lot of them hotels. I know me, I like to stay anywhere. I like the Motel 6, I like the Super 8. I like the Days Inn, Western Inn, Holiday Inn, Hamden Inn, Quarterly Inn. Um, they do got a lot of them. Even they got a uh, red roof in. That's another one, red roof. Yeah, we have the, yeah, we we, that, we got that out here too, Nick. We do got a day's in here and we got a red roof and we do got a motel sex. And also I think we have, uh, I think we do have a, a best Western too as well. And Christian, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Christian? Nice to see you. And happy Friday to everyone. And Alan, the homie food and fun. Welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Alan? Hi, Ricardo and everyone in the chat. I'm in the diner right now and it's very low here and I'm eating dinner. Oh, nice. What are you having tonight, Alan? I know I had taco for my dinner tonight. I had the, the cheese quesadillas and that was my, my dinner for tonight, quesadillas. So how you doing, Christian? It's nice to see you again. I'm doing good. I'm just here hanging out on a Friday night and I already had my dinner. I'm having, oh nice, sounds good. Sounds good, Alan. Yeah, my favorite hotel to stay is in the SmackDown Hotel where I will be taking Ricardo. Funny, Cole, funny. Hi, cool guy, I can't stay, but I am going to be updating my computer in a few minutes. Okay, Michelle, but it's always nice seeing you and welcome in. And a Friday night stream. Yeah, it's kind of late over there, Christian. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. You're not tired yet? Over here still early. It's only uh it's only 8.55 p.m.
Yeah, it's very difficult to hear you, so I just going to watch the stream until I leave. Okay, Alan. But uh, tonight's topic, we're talking about what is your favorite hotel to stay in for a night nice stream. If you guys ever take a trip, what is the favorite hotel that you like to stay in? I know some hotel can be expensive. Some hotel can be cheaper. But uh, I know how it is in California, in New York, Las Vegas. I know the hotel there, they're very expensive. And now we got 15 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. So Ricardo, did you hear about the, yes. Yes, I heard about that. There was a lot of people that were talking about it. I hope everything is okay down there, um, Ellen. I heard about it because uh, Danette and Anthony, they did a stream earlier. Um, they did a vertical, but they didn't stay that long. Um, they were talking about it. So yeah, I did, I did heard about it, Caddy. And uh, Jonathan C, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Jonathan C? Yeah, I hope everybody's okay down there because I know it happened in New York, in New Jersey, and I think in Philadelphia. Yeah, I stay at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. I love it. Oh, you do, Michelle? That hotel probably got to be expensive to stay there for many, you know, for many days. So are you okay? Earthquake is some part of the USA. Yeah, Christian, it happened in New York City and New Jersey and Philadelphia. I think that's what I heard. Because it was, it was over on CNN. It was over, over on CNN. That's how I heard. They were talking about it on CNN. That's what I heard. Yeah, I have the four baby and Chloe. Oh yeah, how are your dogs doing, Michelle? Yeah, for the people that just came in, I, I hear what Ricardo is saying because I am at the diner, but I'm very loud, but I just watch the stream until I leave. And then notice anything and yeah, Nick, you didn't feel anything because you say you were driving home when that happens. You didn't feel anything at all, like anything shaking or anything like that. I'm doing good. I feel the earthquake and after two and snow chicken and rice and dinner in my favorite hotel to stay is all oh, nice. Nice. And the kid that has been work and pay for the state hard work at the time he has there for conversation and oh nice Michelle nice yeah I would love to go to back to Las Vegas at the hotel there are awesome yeah they do got a lot of hotels there Michelle I was watching some videos earlier on YouTube and I was watching some of the hotels that they got there in Las Vegas. Yeah, I never experienced an earthquake. Yeah, it happens sometimes in, in the USA, uh, Christian. Nick is going to pay for everyone's bill. <laughs> it depends if it's if, uh, if expensive, Kosla. Because I know some hotel could be, you know, a lot of money. Yeah, I didn't feel the aftershock. Oh, you didn't feel nothing, Alan, at all? You didn't feel nothing? Because I know Danette and Anthony, they did a live stream earlier, but they did a vertical, but they didn't stay long, but they were talking about it. But they are they say they were doing fine and they're doing okay. <laughs> you have to be rich, you know, to pay everyone's bill. That's the only thing is. 
but I definitely feel the earthquake this morning. Oh, you did? You did? But hope everyone out there is safe. It's the early 80s and I stay at the uh, Atlanta in which the gorgeous and it was too. And again, and I met a girl and we hang out at circus and it was a blast. And so Bill Cosby, oh, nice caddy, nice. Michelle, I got it, my night pod working tonight. Oh, so you finally got it working, Nick? You got it? You finally got the night pod working now? I just updated mine. I just put something new on there. I don't know if you saw it, but I put something new there on my night pod. I just did some update today earlier. I did a quick life. Yeah, you did a quick life, but you didn't stay long, right? If anyone wants to know the name of the title, it's already in the night pot. And welcome everyone. And thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. And if you guys like to stream, share, like, and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And now we got 10 people in the chat. And there you go. That's that new thing that I did. If everybody can see that. No swearing, no spamming, no religious, no talking politic, no drama, no trouble makers, and no kids allowed, no harassing people in the chat, and keep the, ch uh, the chat clean. Thank you, and I appreciate it. That's how I, that's how I did it. Fur kid is now... Is standing. Oh, okay, Michelle. Okay. So how you doing? How is your day going, Michelle? How is your Friday? I know my Friday is going good. I'm just here, just hanging out. But uh, it was kind of cold today because uh, the temperature was 49, but uh, it feel like, you know, it feel like it's uh, 34, but it was kind of cold. That will one that could got yeah, Caddy. I just did that. <laughs> yeah, I just did that today. I just did that today because what I wrote there, that's what I don't want in the chat. Going quiet. It's go yeah. It's kind of slow t uh, tonight because I think I think somebody else is live. I think somebody, um, people that are watching, you know, um, I think a person that I saw was Faber Sanders. He was live. And I think it's kind of slow because I know uh, there's not very much people coming in yet, but I know it takes time. And now I got 11 people. I'm not so sure if I agree with the banning of baby goat from the chat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, earlier I know I was watching, uh, I, was watch, I wasn't on YouTube earlier, but I was out, I was busy most of the day, but I didn't get home until probably around 2.30 in the afternoon. So I was busy most of the day. So I was, you know, I wasn't on YouTube earlier because I was out. Because I've been out until uh, between the morning and afternoon. So I didn't get back until around 2.30. But it was kind of cold outside. It was kind of cold. Yeah, save you guys some pie. Yeah, but I did saw I I did saw some of that, Nick. What you did, I saw part of it. But the only thing is that one that you did in the morning, I didn't see that one. 
Yeah, because I wasn't there this morning, but I went to the the one that you did in the afternoon. But uh, the only thing is that I was, I didn't see that one that you were doing the the muffins. So what amazed me is animal like dogs since the earthquake period two happening and they have green and sense that we heal men and don't in passing. Oh, okay, Caddy. But uh, yeah, I didn't do very much today because I was out since the morning, but I didn't come back until I didn't get home until 2.30. And then I saw that Nick Johnson was still on but uh, he wasn't using the vertical. He was using the he was using the prism the prism app. A baby goat is called a kid. Good one, Kosla. Good one. But I know. You know, when I go on a trip, I know I'm planning, you know, cause I, I'm still looking at hotels, but I know some hotels there can be expensive and depends where I'm going. But uh, the only thing is that um, I'm still looking at prices cause I know some prices can go up and some prices can go down. It was colder here today, but I didn't stream. Yeah, it was colder here too, Michelle. But the only thing is, uh, we didn't have no rain, but it was cold, but it was down to 49, but I feel like it's 34. So it was like a little bit chillier out. I like the Hilton. Yeah, that's a nice hotel, the Hilton Hotel, but I never stayed there before, but it looked like the bed there are comfortable. And they also got a budget mo um, in. They got that one too. But I'm not in budget. <laughs> I didn't have a gimbal issue today, but thank God. Yeah, you said that earlier. But I'm not using a gimbal. I'm using a, I'm using a tripod. Because if I, I tried using it earlier, but the only thing is that I was having gimbal issue again. That's why I didn't put the phone on there because exactly when I put the phone there, it was flipped down and it was going upside down. I don't know what's going on with those uh, Mosa gimbals. They always, you know, every single time when I put one in there, it always get hot right away, especially when I charged it. But the only thing is I have been using it, so I'm using the tripod and that's how I'm sending the phone. And that's what Luna was saying on yesterday's stream. Because uh, she said that she don't need a gimbal. But she was saying that she can use like a selfie stick or a tripod. Because the only thing is that you're doing, you're just standing up your phone. And to keep your phone steady. You know, to keep your phone steady. Yeah, Chloe won't let me text she keep uh, budging my hands and away from phone. Oh, okay. So your dog's are next to you, Michelle. That is why. <laughs> yeah, I saw Chris was on today. Yeah, I saw that too, but I, was, I wasn't there. I saw that he was live, but uh, I wasn't there. Yeah, the fur babies, Leo and Palm is waiting to turn to sit at my on my lap. Oh, okay, Michelle. So you're gonna have both dogs sit on your lap? Yeah, I use my selfie stick when at home. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, you were doing it on your backyard, Michelle. And I saw your pool there. You look like you got a nice pool there. And Emily, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Emily? And happy Friday to everyone. And now we got 14 people. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining today.
Welcome everyone in to the stream. Only one fur kid on the lap at the time. Oh, they're taking turns, Michelle. Oh, they do take turns. If you like the stream, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, so Michelle, I had Taco Bell for dinner for my dinner tonight. I like that uh, cheese quesadilla. That sounds delicious, but I don't eat that all the time. But I, that's that was my dinner for tonight. Quesadillas. And then I had one Dorito taco. Because I think it's a combo meal. I think when you order the quesadilla, I think it comes with it. And especially the drink too as well. You get the drink, the taco Dorito, and then you get the cheese quesadilla. I had spaghetti. Oh yeah, Cherry L. I always like spaghetti. And I also like the spaghetti with Fredo. I had that like a few weeks ago. That sounds good. And you know a lot of wrestlers who are going to be resume, uh, wrestler at the WrestleMania this weekend are going to be spending time out. Yes, exactly, Kosla. I love the grilled cheese steak burrito at Taco Bell. Yes, I eat those ones. They're, they're good. They're delicious. And the fat is my favorite item in the menu. Exactly, Kari. They're good. I mean, it's been a while I haven't had taco, you know, Taco Bell, but uh, I always like their tacos and I always like their uh, cheese quesadillas. Those are good, but I don't eat it all the time. But, uh, well, the only thing is just once a month it's okay, but I don't eat, I don't have to eat it all the time. Yeah, sometimes wrestlers will uh, prank each other in hotels and then would ruin it for all other wrestlers and destroy the room. It depends. It depends if they're sharing the room on Kosla. But uh, yeah, I'm just here. I'm hanging out on a Friday night because I know it's the weekend already. And it's the first uh, Friday of, you know, for April. And I can believe it's already the weekend. But uh, yeah, but there's a lot of hotels there that I like to stay, especially if I travel, like to see my family. The hotel that I usually go there is Super 8 Motel. Or sometimes the Quality Inn. So one of those two that I stay. But I know prices every year that goes up on hotel. I know that. But I know some, they do drop down. Yeah, I went to stay at the motel. They never got it. They called the Cloud Motel. Oh, they do got a Cloud Motel, Kosla? I mean, I never heard of it, but I they, they do have a hotel called the Cloud Motel. And like, oh, this is another one, the Sea Breeze Motel. That's the one that Roy always talk about. <laughs> the Sea Breeze Motel. <laughs> yeah, I went to stay in the motel in the car in the club motel. And the flower kids that are sitting and, and brushing them and oh okay. And the cloud motel is across from the graveyard. <laughs> That's a good one. Cool guy. So are you, they, there are any taco KFC? Yes, Patty. We do have a few Taco Bells and we have, I think two or three uh, KFC. And it's busy where both business and cover. Cool, Super A is the worst hotel you stay at the house if you visit. Oh, thanks Emily. Thanks. So they do got super uh, motels out there, Emily, where you're at? 
And I know some, uh, they're cheaper, but some hotel, they can go pricey. But I know, you know, they can go expensive too. Yeah, everyone is at the sea brace. Hope. <laughs> A lot of people, they like that one, Michelle. A lot of people, they like that hotel. Yeah, I will send Nick some pictures of it. I'm not even joking about the Clown Motel, but it's really across the street from... Yeah, I know that. You said that, Kosla. And this is a Taco Bell and KFC company. It is one. Yes. But we do got both here. We do got Taco Bell here, and we do got a Kentucky Fried Chicken here. And Chad is NC, and they have casino, and look, in the greatest state, and here. And yeah, they are her. Yeah. Because I stayed in a hotel there, but I know for a week, it cost me 400 bucks. I only stay there for a week because when I went on vacation, I only stay there for a week. I just gives me and I had to move her because she won't let me. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think they tried to play with you, um, Michelle. Yeah, I almost done at dinner, but it'd be on my way home in a few minutes. Okay, Alan. Okay. How was the food? And I know you're going to be streaming tomorrow afternoon. I just saw that you already scheduled it. So everyone stay tuned for that. The Alan and the homie is going to be streaming tomorrow at 1 p.m. Tomorrow afternoon. So everyone subscribe to Alan the homie food and fun. And stay tuned for that. The Biltmore is, has a fancy hotel. And they, they stay and visit a Biltmore in Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, nice, Michelle. Nice. And yeah, it was delicious. And there you go, Alan the Homie just put his link. So everyone subscribe to Alan the Homie Food and Fun and stay tuned for his stream tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. And now we got 14 people. And if you guys like this stream, share, like, and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I don't stay at Baltimore, but usually I just drive there and back, oh, okay, so you just go by there. Okay, so you go by there. Yeah, Jonathan, see, um, Alan's gonna stream tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yeah, I stay at uh, Hudson and Jasmine in that hotel. I would like to stay again. Is it cheaper there? Kosla, that hotel that you're staying at? I know some hotel could be pricey and some hotel can be cheaper. But I know when I was looking at booking.com, they do got a lot of hotels and some of the prices are going down. But uh, I'm always looking at, you know, at booking.com, you know, for hotels. And L the Original, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, L? Yeah, there is a ton of hotels, motel in in Tennessee. Yeah, I saw that too, Michelle, because I always looking through hotel to um, booking.com and I seen all the hotels that they got in Tennessee too as well. Yeah, there is a like a uh, year waiting list and get into, but I think, oh, they are, they're very expensive, Kosla. How you doing, L? Happy Friday to you, and how you doing? Yeah, Orlando, Florida. I know, in Florida, especially in Florida too, the hotel, they gotta be expensive too. <laughs> Orlando, Florida, it has more hotel than anywhere country that, because of the year round in ter Yeah. I've been in Florida, like in Miami, or Fort Lauderdale Hotel there, they gotta be expensive. I think Michelle should make some kind of 
Kevin and back <laughs> Arab. <laughs> yeah, now people they've been using that. I heard a lot of people they've been using Airbnb, you know, to stay in. It's like you have to share. You, you have to share the place with them. That's what it is. That's where Airbnb is. Yeah, I haven't packed anything yet for Sunday. Oh, so your trip is uh, tomorrow and you haven't packed yet, L? Yeah, I'm going to start packing tonight since I finished my laundry. Oh, nice. And what time is your trip for tomorrow? Yeah, I put I put Nick in a room on the Airbnb. Oh, really? So you're gonna do it in Airbnb, uh, Kosla? So how much are you gonna charge Nick for staying for a week? Because I know hotel they charge you like four hundred dollars for a week, or five hundred dollars for a week. I'm leaving Sunday morning, but around 7 a.m., but I have to take the coach bus and from there to take the train to the airport, but I will be taking Uber to the airport. Oh, nice, Elle. So you probably will get there like in the afternoon sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said, Kosla. I said, are you gonna, are you gonna charge Nick for stay, you know, for staying there for a week, and for you know for an Airbnb? <laughs> I got Kosla now. I said my flight doesn't leave until one p.m. But if we're out north, but the bus leave really early. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Cool, you can stay here in the basement attic for free. Oh, really, Nick? You're not gonna charge him for staying at your basement? Is it, I will be in New York until 4 p.m. on Sunday. Oh, so you're gonna be there in the afternoon. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I want to stay in the attic so I can do some club dancing and tap dancing over in Nick's room. <laughs> That's a good one, Cole. But yeah, tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a nice stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it and happy Friday to everyone. And now we got 14 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining. Yeah, we're going to have a blast. Yeah, it's going to be fun, Alan, when you guys meet up again. Nick, I'm going to cut a little hole in the attic floor and make a little circuit port door and stare at you from the time to time. <laughs> and my favorite hotels in New York are in Midtown, the Hell Kitchen, the hotel I'm staying at that was going to be 500 but now discount to 429 that's not bad at all l 429 how many how many days are you staying well the hard rock hotel stay in vegas and was awesome and they had pool and a swim bar cabin i carry my lawn chair to the spot Oh, nice, Michelle. Nice. Yeah, because if I ever take a trip and I know hotels there in New York, they, they are very expensive. I only can stay there for five days. 
So that will save me money there because if I decided to stay for a week or two weeks, that's going to be more. Yeah, I'd be there for Sunday to Tuesday because I have to work the rest of the week. Oh, so you're going to be there until Tuesday. Oh, nice. I haven't been in, in any tip in a few years, but I need to save some money. Exactly, Michelle. You need to save money if you want to go on a trip. And Caroline N, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Caroline? Yeah, because if I stay for five days, I think for me it's going to cost me probably like the same amount, 400 and something, or 500 if I stay for five days. I wonder if I can block Nightpot. <laughs> doing good. I'm doing good, Caroline. It's nice to see ya. I know I didn't stream yesterday because uh, I took uh, I took another break. Five days will be. Um. Oh, really? L. Okay. One thousand, depending when you're. Yeah, it depends at the hotel you're staying. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the hotels are more expensive because of spring break. Only cool guy can time out night pot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Michelle. So, cool, we had an earth. Yes, I heard about that, Caroline. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody was talking about it. Yes, I heard. It's been going around too. And I know I was watching Fabo Sander earlier. He was talking about it too as well. Yeah, we're coming to stay three or four days are the month ahead and good deals and check out. Yeah, that's what I've been doing too because I've been looking at booking.com. L. I'm always looking at hotels there and price and price line too as well. So I've been looking at hotels there too. Yeah, I felt it earthquake this morning. And my bed was shaking all pictures. Oh, it was Caroline? Nothing that it break, anything like that. Nothing that it you know fall down when it started shaking. Cause I know when there's earthquake like that. Stuff can go on the floor. Uh, cups, you know, glass can go on the floor. They can break. But I know I've seen stuff like that happening. But well, hope everyone is safe out there in New York City, New Jersey, and Philadelphia. Because I heard it happened there too as well. In New Jersey and Philadelphia. It was all over on CNN. Yeah, I would like to go to Disney for Christmas and probably won't happen to need save up. And yeah, you need to save up to go down there, Michelle. Even if I want to go to Universal Studio, I had to save money to go there too myself. No, nothing broke, just the house shaking. Yeah, but stuff like that, you have to be careful because that can break easily. If it was like a stronger earthquake, yeah, it can break stuff. And that's why I can be happy in Christmas again. And Nick could stay at the sh at the shed. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, Nick could stay in the shed. So you have to charge him for staying in the shed too, Kosla. Yeah, it's pricey. You're checking the key and and buy booking through spend because you earn reward for your stay, and you could use them. Towards your ticket. Oh, nice, L. Nice. Yeah, Morning Beach is awesome. <laughs> and there is a spider in the. <laughs> and, and there, Co. And not now because there was spider when you stayed inside. Good one, Ricardo. You make me. <laughs> I made, I made Coastal laugh, laugh again. Yeah, I was pretty starting to say that. That's at least. Hopefully, take one. 
And whenever you plan to come to New York, let me know. I find you a good deal with Hotel and Expedia. Yeah, um, L, I'm planning that for this between this month or May. I'm, I'm planning a trip to go there between um, between this month or May. Yeah, there is a big spider behind Ricardo. Yes, there is Alan. Yes, yeah, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man is right behind me. Oh my God! Do not like the spider. <laughs> And Nick, how was your Oreo pie? Yeah, I was. I don't mind eating that Oreo pie. It was good. I saw it at first, but it was good. And I, that's why I told Nick, give me a slice of it. Okay, let me know the date and I will look for you, but you should book an advice because the price can get high if you also, yeah, I had to do it ahead. Ahead, um, L. I had to book the hotel ahead. But I'm always looking at hotels there in New York City. And I know I'm planning other trips as well, too, like Tennessee. I always want to visit there in uh, Chicago and uh, where my family is, too, as well. So I'm planning a few trips. Yeah, the good thing is you could book a room, then pay later. Yeah, that's what I do. I book the room and when I get there, I had to pay for the room. So cool, I like your, your, <laughs> yeah, it's a Spider-Man blanket, uh, Caroline. It's a Spider-Man blanket. So what, uh, so what is, are your look into be while you're in New York? Oh, yeah, um, just see, you know, just see the city of New York, probably meet Alan, you know, meet up, you know, um, anyone who else is in New York City, we can meet up and uh, probably, you know, just hang out or do something, you, you know, just like, you know, just like have fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meet you in person, Ricardo. Yeah, me too, Alan, because we know each other since last year. So we know each other far that long. And I had to book a Motel 6 at 1, and I had the guitar listen from there at the Zoom meeting. And it was funny because my teacher is one who is a tour in different hotels when we meet. Oh, nice, Kosla. Nice. The Spider-Man behind you protect you again. <laughs> Not really, Caddy. Not really, but that's only a blanket. Just put it there because just to cover, you know, the stuff that nobody want to see again. And if you're coming by bus and it's staying at a hotel in Manhattan so close, and 30 because the where you getting yeah because um when i go there there it, the greyhound bus is going to take me exactly to the greyhound station and i soon i soon i get up there so i gotta um text alan and let him know that i'm in new york city and then from there i had to go into my hotel room the one that i booked and that's the one that i that i'm going to be staying So Ricardo is going to bring all his cleaning supplies with him to the hotel to make sure it's clean. <laughs> I'm not so sure, Kosla. They do got some stuff over there to clean. And especially they do got housekeepers too as well. Yeah, I remember going to Kentucky and my mom was staying at the Days Inn and it was very nice and it's very clean. Yeah, Days Inn, they always got a clean hotel room. That's what I like about that one. They always clean and they uh, they always, they don't serve breakfast though. You have to go out for breakfast or lunch or dinner. But I know for that, they do got some hotel that's included with uh, free breakfast. And then they have a dating restaurant here and never been. And it was delivered on the bus. Yeah, cause I know some buses that can stop for a break 
They can stop like a McDonald's or that, but I know I'm not so sure I'm not eating that. But I can get a drink or a little snack, but that's about it. But I'm not gonna eat, you know, cause I know some buses, they too, they, you know, they take breaks, they stop at McDonald's or Burger King, but I'm not gonna be eating none of that. So what is the day is not too later in the month, but I plan around time you're coming. So maybe I can meet up with you and Alan. Oh, that would have been nice, El. I would have met you too. And I think you guys should all meet Nick has work. <laughs> I don't sleep under the blanket, but the lay the pillow. But when I stay at the hotel, it's feel weird because I bring my own blanket and pillow. Yeah. And they do got their own blankets too. And hotels there too as well. And yeah, they serve a community continental breakfast. That is right, Caroline. The hotel that I used to stay at, they used to do that. They used to serve continental breakfast. Yeah, I was planning to come back in in May anyway for to New York. And you don't want a fly um well the only thing is L I never took a plane before. If I ever do, it's gonna be my first time, but I might be nervous at first, but I never fly, I never took a plane. Usually when I go, you know, to places like New York or Boston or Chicago or Minnesota, I always take the bus or the Amtrak. But plane, I never, you know, I never took it because if I do, you know, I, I might be nervous for the first time. Yeah, is anyone here where we have all us some time and I would like to meet everyone too. And yeah, exactly, Michelle. I would like to meet you too. I would like to meet you in person. I want to meet Alan in person. I want to meet LD Original in person. I want to meet Nick Johnson in person. And I want to meet Caroline Ann in person too as well. And then Ann and Anthony. Yeah, that would be uh, fine, and you could have a flight attendant and sit next to you. And if you're nervous, yeah, they do got flight attendants. I seen it because I saw videos on YouTube about flying, how the you know how the plane lands and took off. I seen some of it, so I've been watching videos of plane, you know, go up the air and going down. Then I'm going to New York in May. Oh, you are, Nick? You taking a trip to New York in May? Yeah, I want to recon Amtrak over the, a bus. Yeah, because uh, if I wanted to take an Amtrak, I had to go all the way to Chicago because they don't have an Amtrak here in Dayton. I had to take a bus from here to Chicago, and then from there, I had to take the Amtrak. And I go, friend, still in have uh, that life there and used to make a flying, but I lately I'm big fan and do not look close to space. That's right, Caroline. Cause I never been on a plane before, but the only thing is that when I used to travel, I used to take the Greyhound bus or I used to take the Amtrak. Yeah, I agree with the Amtrak instead of thus, but plane is better, yeah. I know that costs a lot, but you know, we never know because that plane costs more than the bus or the train. Yeah, just fly. Yeah, Amtrak is nice, but it's too it's too long. Yeah, but it's not nonstop. I mean, I know some Amtrak can get you can have issue with the train, but uh, I know some. They do stop if they have issue, but they don't stop. They keep going. So Ricardo, I will fly with you if you are nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only thing is that I'm not out. I'm not out there yet, L. I'm all over here in, in Dayton, Ohio, and they do got an airport here too. It's called the Dayton International Airport. They do got an airport too here as well. Yeah, don't even get the Sochi from Trader Joe's. <laughs> oh, 
But uh, yeah, they do have an airport here. They do have an airport here in Dayton. I never been into it yet, but they do got a bus that take you there, and they they also have an Uber that can bring you there too as well. Yeah, I wonder if I take plane there, but just to fly with you to New York. <laughs> I had to I had to go all the way into the Dayton Airport for that because that's where the Dayton Airport is. Now you ask Alan if he likes Trader Joe, but no, I'm saying if you're so cheap, I do not get Trader Joe's. Yeah, we do got one here, Caddy. We do got a Trader Joe's here, but it's not here. It's in Kittering, Ohio. Yeah, I know Nick, he's saying that he don't like to fly either. <laughs> Nick told me he don't like the plane either. Yeah, I love flying, but I love the the window seat. Yeah, that's a fun. I seen those in movies too, Michelle. I seen those in movies that people they like to sit by the window. Oh, that's okay, Alan. That's okay. Yeah, I love Trader Joe's. That's have too near me. Trader Joe has nice flowers. Yeah, they do, but I never been into one yet, Caroline. I never been to a Trader Joe yet. But they do got one here in Ohio though, because I looked it up on my other phone. So they do got one here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get Nick overcome of the fear in the same in the same time. I love when the plane takes off and it's like being a roller coaster. Yeah. It's going sky high, Michelle. It's like it's going up the air. Up the air. It's going up the air. <laughs> I almost had a stop. And are you, so are you on the train? Yeah, one time on the way to Vegas, I saw the window up in the air, another plane flying next to the plane. You was, was it. Yeah, that's kind of weird seeing other planes flying in the air, Michelle. But the only thing is that it remind me what happened back in 9-11. But the only thing is some people, they do like fly. Some people they don't like because of what happened a long time ago. And I know some people, when they travel, they're taking the bus. Or I know some people, they got their own vehicles. And I do get that. So they take trips by themselves. But the only thing is you have to pay for gas. Yeah, I love the snow wing. Anyone remember that? But yeah, but the only thing is, I know plane can cost more than the bus or the train, but I've been looked it up. It depends how much the ticket is. Yeah, my mom, she was scared fly because of 9-11. She saw the tower and attacked the first time and back in 93 and when she lives in New York. Yeah, but what happened back in 2001, it was terrible. Okay, two, you know, two planes hit the tower. A lot of people died from that. Yeah, that is the flying is uh, safer than driving. That may be true, but you got a much better chance surviving car accident versus plane crash. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the only thing is you have to be careful when you're taking a road trip. Yeah, plane ticket from Dayton to New York should be too expensive. Mm-hmm. But I look it up because they do have other, um, they do got other website. So I went to this uh, cheap tickets.com and that's how I find them. So they do got some cheaper, it depends on the cheaper ticket that you get. Yeah, my brother and sister, law both work at the uh, Twin Tower. 
they went on vacation and that happened. Yeah, I was in Minnesota at that time when that happened. I was in Duluth, Minnesota. I was living in Minnesota when that happened. But it was all over the news. When that happened, it was all over the news. And now we got 15 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. And if you guys like the stream, share, like, and subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. But uh, tonight's topic is, let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a night stream. And hope everyone is enjoying it. And we got 15 people in the chat. And I know my Friday is going good. I'm just here, just hanging out on a Friday night. Because I know it's the weekend. And I know this day is going so fast. And the weather, you know, wasn't, it was, it was okay. But it was, it, you know, it went up to 49, but it feel like 34. I never flew on my own, but I want to go to Florida so bad, but I have one to go with. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been to Florida, but it's been a long time. I've been there back in 2000, but I've been to two places in Florida. That was Tampa and St. Petersburg. But other places in Florida, I haven't been yet, like Orlando, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. So, cool guy, can you walk from Dayton? To New York? Damn, that's going to take a long time, Nick. I probably will be dead tired. <laughs> I probably will be, you know, I probably will be sore if I ever do that. But that's going to be a lot. It's, it's going to take me probably two days from walking to get there. Yeah, Vegas is awesome. Yeah, but i never been there yet, Michelle, to Vegas. Yeah, I want to go to Florida, but no one go with unless my best friend would with me. What part of Florida you always wanted to go, Al? I always wanted to go to Orlando. Because I never visited there before. I always wanted to go to Orlando, Florida. Because that's where, that's where um, the Universal Studio is. In Orlando. Yeah, we we can all meet in Vegas. Oh, nice, Michelle. Nice. I will be there and I will be there tomorrow night. <laughs> Either in Tampa or Miami or even Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I've been to Tampa, I, but that was a long time ago, back in 2000. I've been there. I've been to Tampa. And I've been to St. Petersburg. And um, Artemis on 6HC, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing? Nice to see you again. And now we got 16 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. Yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to be a long trip too as well. But uh, I know I always wanted to go to Vegas, but I never been there. But I seen videos of Vegas because I know Action Kid was there. So he did some videos there in Vegas. Yeah, I haven't traveled as much, so I don't really have an answer for this. But stick around for a little bit. Okay, Artemis. Well, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I'm still here for Wide Awake. Okay, Sharon L. But it's been a while, you know, because the last trip that I went was back in uh, December of 2021 when I went to Minnesota. And that was the last trip that I went to. I was there for four weeks. I mean, I, I did have fun and stuff like that. I went to the Christmas lights and everything down there. And that's how I post that Christmas light on YouTube, the video. But the only thing is, at that time, I didn't have no uh, no gimbal, 
but I had like, I had a selfie stick. That's the only thing that I had that time. Yeah, I could go, just go to Vegas to see the sign and show in hotel to stay at there. Yeah, Mitchell. I was wanting to see that volcano in, in, um, in Las Vegas. They do a volcano thing over there. I would like to see that. You know that volcano thing in, in Las Vegas? I want to see that. Well, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, right, Michelle. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go. And guys, we've been streaming for an hour and 10 minutes now. Hope everyone is enjoying the stream tonight, tonight on this Friday night stream. And if you guys like to stream, like, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. More thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining on this Friday night. Cheers to everyone. Yeah, they said that Seattle is nice too. Yeah, I never been there either, Nick. I never been to Seattle, Washington either. I always like to visit there too as well. But I never been to Seattle. And the uh, Vertran is so pretty too in Vegas. Oh nice, Michelle. So how many times you been in Vegas, Michelle? Yeah, the one show I would definitely see is Vegas Terror Factor, who and Austin and China Twain was doing a concert and see her too, but Terror Factor is the first on my list. Oh, nice, Caddy. Nice. Yeah, I haven't been to Vegas too. Oh, you been to Vegas, uh, Jonathan C? How do you like it out there? I never been there, so <laughs> I know I know Vegas is a big city. There's always a lot of stuff to do over there. They do got a lot of casinos. They do got a lot of restaurants. They do have a lot of bars. They do got a lot of hotels too as well. And a lot of people too. Yeah, my brother went to law school in Washington State. So I hear it's beautiful out there. Oh, nice, Caroline. Nice. Yeah, I love the mountain. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see, Jonathan C. I wanted to see that volcano. That's something I wanted to see if I was over there in Las Vegas. I want to see that casino because I I remember the action kid was there and he, he streamed that. He did a live stream from there. Good guy. Only been to Vegas one time. Oh, only one time? Okay, Michelle. Okay. I mean, I've never been there, but I, won't, I know I would like to go there and visit one of these days. And now we got 16 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining today. Welcome everyone to the stream. And Dean Michael, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing Dean Michael? Seven years in Washington state. Oh, nice. D. Michael. If you like the stream, give it a thumbs up. How you doing, D. Michael? How is your Friday going? My Friday is going good. 
I just had Taco Bell for my dinner tonight. And that sounds good. So I'm just here, just hanging out on a Friday night because I know it's the weekend. And I'm gonna switch glasses, guys. These are my new glasses. Yeah, two years ago in Washington State and lived in back in many pick up and live. Oh, nice, Steve Michael. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I just switched glasses. That's what I did. <laughs> Those glasses remind me of the 90s. Oh, nice, El. You think so? Hey, super cool. I like them cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. I just switched glasses. Well, thanks, Al. And now we got 14 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. If you guys like to stream, share, like, and subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel for a night stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it. And thank you for coming and joining tonight. So now you are a cool guy. Yes, I am, Alan. Yes, I am. He wanted to be like me with my sunglasses. Really, Mitchell? I got three pairs of sunglasses. I got three pairs. I had to find the other two. I found I found this one, but I I got, still got two more. I had to find the other two. Yeah, I'm always wearing my sunglasses. Yeah, I saw that, Michelle. I saw that. But I usually wear this when it's really really bright out outside, when it's really sunny outside. So cool. Are they? Uh, no, no, they're not, Caroline. These, I think these are old sunglasses, though they they don't have any subscription on them. I'm home, everyone. Oh, you are, Alan, you're home now? So, cool, cool guy, okay. So you can, can be a guest sometime. We both were show. Our son. Oh, yeah, Michelle, that would have been nice. Yes. I would like to be your guest. Yeah. And this is a commercial break. It's sponsored by Ice Coconut Pineapple. So this is another commercial break. So now is this a, you know, coconut pineapple? Cheers, everyone. I collect sunglasses. Oh, nice, Caroline. I only got three pairs, but the only thing is I had to find the other two. I only found these one for now, but I have to find the other two. I got three pairs. Sixty-three and windy, and overcast was in seventies. Oh, so it's windy over there, uh, D. Michael. Yeah, it's been cold over here today, but the temperature was forty-nine. But it was, it feel like it's thirty-four. 
But uh, it was cold today. Yeah, I think, Alan, I'm going to be uh, Michelle's guest. I think me and her, we're going to be wearing sunglasses. So we're going to be guesses. And there you go. Alan the Homie just put his link. So everyone, subscribe to Alan the Homie Food and Fun. And there you go, everyone. Subscribe to Michelle Marie. So anyone who got a YouTube channel, you can put your your YouTube channel here and your channel will appear in here. And if you guys want to check the weather as well, you can check the weather here too as well. So you guys can do a Prism app. I saw that. Yeah, I, I still trying to figure out that Nick because I know something like that is kind of hard to figure it out. And it's kind of hard to, you know, to work it. Yeah, that's what I said, that you put uh, Michelle's link. So I said, that's why I subscribe to uh, Michelle Marie channel. Okay, we'll be fine already now. So what we can talk about. But the topic is let's talk about your uh, favorite hotel to stay in for a nice dream, Michelle. That is the topic for tonight. Unless if you want to talk about anything else. But I know they do got a lot of hotels there. You know, they do got a lot of hotels. And plus, the, especially online too, you know, when people, they travel, they look at hotels at booking.com, Expedia, Priceline. They also got like Travel City. That's another one. Yeah, the hotel, I never stayed there before, but I would like to stay in a hotel like that. Plus, I do like the Holiday Inn. That's a good hotel too, the Holiday Inn, because they got the swimming pool there and they do got like exercise equipment there too as well. And I think they do have, uh, I think a hot tub in there too. And also, um, they do got like stationary bikes on there too. That's what I saw. And they do got like workout equipment equipments there too as well. But I know some hotel, they do serve some free breakfast too as well. Like continental breakfast, they do serve that. But some hotels, they don't have that. So that means you have to go out and eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner. But I know that hotel, it could be like expensive right now. You never know the holiday, you know, holiday in, it, you know, the price, it went up that hotel. Cause when I used to stay there before it was cheaper, but now, you know, it's getting pricey now. Well, thank you, Sharon L. Thanks. Yeah, I have to show you the sunglasses I got. Oh, okay, Michelle. Okay. I only got three pair, but the only thing is I had to find the other two. I had to. I only found one of them for now, but I had to find the other ones. And now we got 15 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. And if you guys like the stream, share, like, and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And hit that like button. 
and smash that like button too. So we're talking about hotels tonight, guys. And what is your favorite hotel that you like to stay in? I know my hotel is, is uh, Days Inn, Red Roof Hotel, Motel 6, Super 8, Holiday Inn. Those are my favorite hotels. And Quality Inn. Yeah, the, the sun bothers my eyes, so I always wear sunglasses. Yeah, me too. Me too, Michelle. During when it's summertime, when it's really, really bright outside, when it's really sunny out, then I wear glasses too. Because they bother my eyes too as well. Yeah, it's easier for me to read the chat with sunglasses too. I mean, I can see it. You know, I can see it, but it's like the sunglasses that I'm wearing right now is like a little dark, but I can, I still can see the chat and I can read, I still can read it, but it's not, you know, it's not that clear, but it's like a little dark, but I still can read the chat. It's like I can switch back and forward. I can wear my regular glasses. And then if I want to come back to this one, I will come back to the other one. It's like switching glasses. And thank you for that, Michelle Marie. Yes, please hit that like button, folks, and smash that like button. And guys, we've been streaming almost an hour and a half. Hope everyone is enjoying the stream tonight on this Friday night. And tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a night stream on a Friday night. I know this day is going good. I'm just hanging out here on a Friday night. I'm already set. I already have my dinner. I had Taco Bell for my dinner tonight, so I'm doing good. And then for my lunch, I had hot dogs for my lunch. So I'm doing great. And happy Friday to everyone. So cool. So what is your plan for the weekend? Um, if the weather is nice, I can do a live stream outside because I know a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to do a walking stream. But if the weather is nice, then I would do one. But if the weather is bad, then I had to do one at home. You know, like in the nighttime. Because I know Nick Johnson, he does a stream in the afternoon. And I always do one at night. But it depends if the weather is nice, then I would do one outside. Because I know sometimes we had rain for a few days. We had rain for a few days. And I know next week I heard that we're going to have more rain coming. And it's, it's going to be raining Monday all the way until Friday of next week. Whoa, cool guy. Is really a cool guy. Well, Emily, welcome back. Nice to see you again. And you, I saw you saw my sunglasses. And yeah, yeah I can believe that tomorrow is Saturday. It's not gonna be another day. And I can't believe this day is going so fast. It's already 10 or 9 p.m. But now it's getting cold outside. It's a little bit chillier and it's getting more dark outside too as well. Glasses indoor. Right, Emily? Glasses indoor. Yeah, and I use them outside too as well. Hope you have a good day. And now we got 16 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it. And thank you for coming and joining with me tonight. Yeah, Michelle, you, 
you can you can me and cool guy have seen how to do it yeah i'm trying to figure that out nick i'm still trying to figure it out how to do that i mean i've been watching stuff um you know from prison app on youtube i'm still trying to figure out how to do that But because uh, every single time when I look at stuff on YouTube, that's how I can learn from it. Because I've been seeing stuff from Prison App on YouTube too as well. I can see videos too as well. And that's how I can figure it out and stuff. Yay. Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> So how you doing, Emily? How is your Friday going for you? I know I'm doing good. I'm just hanging out on a Friday night. I'm doing great. And we got, now it's down to 15, 14 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. Oh, you don't have a YouTube channel, Caroline? And yeah, welcome back, Emily. Uh, tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a night stream. And that is the tonight's topic. And um, I know a lot of people that like to stay in a hotel when they travel. And I know I will too if I ever go on vacation again. And I know that's going to be fun. But the only thing is that it depends how many days you're going to be staying and how many days you're paying for. But uh, it's like going on vacation. And if you guys like to stream, like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. More thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining on this Friday night. You guys are awesome. And I want to thank all my muds for for joining tonight. I know some of them are not here yet. And I just made Iron Jen a mud the other day. So she's one another of my muds too. So I want to thank all my moderators for doing a good job. So get them a thumbs up. Yeah, they were muffin tops. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that one, Nick. I wasn't in that stream. I didn't miss it. So I wasn't in that one. So I had to see that one. Yeah, I, I bought mint Oreo cookies. Oh, nice, Michelle. I always like Oreo cookies, and I like the Oreo ice cream too. They do got th that too as well. And they also got the candy bar for Oreo. So they do the, everything that's coming out from Oreo.
Yeah, those are good. Yeah, they're good. They're good and delicious. But uh, I know, I, I mean, I went to the store the other day and I saw they had like an ice cream for Oreo. They had like, it's a cookie sandwich one, but it's an Oreo cookie sandwich ice cream. And they were selling it for two bucks. The time you were to eat the ice cream, probably it was gonna be melted. But it wasn't like in the ice cream free in the freezer. Yeah, I thought maybe you forget to uh to put the the into the muffin. <laughs> but it sounded like that muffin that he did, it was it sounded like it's good. Yeah, I love those uh the chip which those are yeah, those are good. Yeah, because they're coming out with new stuff and everything they're coming out for, you know, for cook for Oreo or free chip, uh, chip Ahoy's. They're making them into, you know, cereal. They're making them into ice cream and probably candy bar too as well. <laughs> and Kosla, welcome back. How you doing, Kosla? I had a Greek that in Oreo plastic and sauce and it was delicious. Ricardo evil twin brother just show up. He was wearing sunglasses. Yeah, that's right. I'm another twin brother, Kosla. The other Ricardo got, you know, he's gone. So this is another Ricardo. Yeah, so the other the other Ricardo he he ha uh, he disappeared. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is gone. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe I would like this <laughs> better. <laughs> and Sharon L started laughing out loud. But yeah, guys, uh, tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotels for a nice stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it. And hope everyone is having a good Friday night. And if you guys like to stream, share, like, and subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And hit that like button. Smash it. Yeah, those glasses make you look cool, cool guy. Well, thank you, Kosala. Thank you, I got three pairs, but the only thing is I had to find the other two. I only found this one, but I had to find the other ones as well. Well, let's talk about cool guys, cool glasses. And I'm cracking up. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> Ricardo, you have to change your voice. You should talk like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I know that part, um, Alan. I will be back. I'll be back. Do 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 I'll be back. Good guy. Save me wearing my sunglasses all the time. Okay, Michelle. Okay. I haven't seen that movie in a while, but I've seen it. It's been it's been a while. I haven't seen the Terminator, but I've seen it. But I don't think these are, are the sunglasses that Arnold Schwarzenegger was using in the movie. But uh, you know, something like that is like seen it in other movies before. <laughs> And now we're down to 13 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it. 
And thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night. But I did see the movie though, but it's been a while. I seen all the Terminator movies, but it's been a while. I haven't seen them. And now this is another commercial break sponsored by Ice Coconut Pineapple. So this is another sponsor break. And sheer guys. And now back to the stream. So Ricardo looked like Joel Pesci in the Moonwalker movie. Oh, really, Kosla? Like, you know, the one that he was in Home Alone? Because he was a bad guy in that one, too, as well. And now we got 14 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining. Hit the like button and smash the like button. Yeah, it's that enter from Ricardo. Good one, Kosla. Good one. Yeah, I had to find my other two. I only got three pair of sunglasses, but I found these one for now, but I had to find the other two. So when Ricardo was trying to sound like Arno, that sounded like he was a Australian. Yeah, cause I don't know how to talk like Arno Sosedeger, Kosla. I know how he talks, but I don't know how to talk like him. And I see most of his movies too, as well too. So I see more of his movies too. So cool guy, I bought the second Aquaman movie yesterday and I can't wait to watch it. I had watched a movie in a long time, but I had the first one. Yeah, it is good. I watched it the other day, Michelle. It is good. You should watch it, it is it's good. So I will recommend that one too. Cause that one is a good movie too as well. Yeah, because I watched it the other day. And I own the movie too as well, so I did watch it the other day. Yeah, I might watch it tomorrow. Yeah, you should, Michelle, because it, it's a good movie. It is. I seen both of I seen both of them now. So I saw the first one and the second one too as well. So when Ricardo was trying to, yeah, I wish I can talk like Arnold Schwarzenegger close enough, but the other thing is that I don't have the voice, you know, like him. So I don't have enough voice like him, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But uh, the only thing is that I think most of his movies, all his movies are good, especially like Kindergarten Cop. I saw that one, I like that one too. Kindergarten Cup, I like that one too as well. But I did see it though. But uh, right now, it's like I'm not, I haven't been watching. I did watch one yesterday though. I did watch a movie called Anyone But You. I was watching that one. That one is a good movie too. I think it's, I think it's like kind of like a romance movie, but it is good. And that one they have, they have it on Blu-ray, so they got that one on Blu-ray and DVD for that movie. And now I'm gonna switch glasses now, <laughs> and then I go back and forth again.
And now I'm back to this one now. And now we got 13 people in the chat, now 12. So now it's going kind of slow now. Yeah, now the other Ricardo is back. The Now the other Ricardo left and this one came back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be almost two hours now. And I know the chat is kind of slow because we don't have enough people, but uh, some people, they might be relaxing. Yeah, I just came back, Alan. The other Ricardo is gone now. So I just, I just switched back and forward. Yeah, Kosla, yeah. <laughs> so I came back again. So I'm just here, just relaxing on a Friday night. Hope everyone is enjoying the stream tonight. And if you guys like the stream, share, like, and subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a night stream. So Ricardo, your evil cousin from Australia was here earlier. Really, Kosla. Good one. Okay, Michelle, thank you for stopping in. It's nice seeing you and take care and have a good night. Yeah, this stream is only gonna be for two and a half hours today. So it's not gonna be very long. But the only thing is, I know the chat is kind of slow because uh, I know there is people, you know, like coming in and, and going. Yeah, my nice job neighbor are outside as fur talking to the top of their lungs and their people are complaining whack. Oh, okay, Caddy. Have a good night, Michelle. Yeah, he couldn't, but he doesn't have prison. And he does the right in today. I didn't notice. But uh, yeah, I'm just here, just relaxing. Um, but I know I didn't do very much yesterday. All I just did, just relax, watch, you know, movies. I know I was watching some people's live stream as well. I know I was in Luna stream yesterday and I was watching Roy for a little bit, but it looked like he was having problem with his signal yesterday. So I wasn't there, you know, I didn't stay for the whole thing until Luna came, you know, she came live yesterday. So I was joining her stream yesterday and she did a stream for almost five hours and 13 minutes. But that, her stream was very long yesterday. But I did have fun, I did enjoy it. Yeah, we need to come up with a name for Nick Chiano. Uh, Kostala, he already told me a name that, that he wanted for his Chiano. He, uh, he said uh, Nick, Nick the Explorer. Uh, he said it, he might like that one, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> but the only thing is, uh, Mike could be cool explorer. You know, cool explorer. And Nick could be Nick the explorer. <laughs> no, that, was a, that was a funny one there. So like I seen there's many people using Exployer. I know there's many Exployer, there is Roy Exployer, and I think there was other people they been using it too as well. But uh but the only thing is that I when I every single time when I go in to see somebody else channel, they're always using Exployer. But now we got 13 people. 
Nick, how about this one? I am not the verdict dumb from Goosebump. And Roy, welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing, Roy? My favorite hotel is the Sea Hotel. Yeah, I noticed that's the whole thing that you like, Roy. The Sea Breeze Hotel. Any other hotel that you like out there in San Francisco besides the Sea Breeze Hotel? Yeah, I know they do got a lot of them out there in San Francisco. Yeah, I know I do like some of it. Days Inn, the Holiday Inn, Super A Motel, Motel 6. They even got the Holiday Inn, Hamden Inn, Quality Inn. That's the most of the hotel that I like to stay in. And happy Friday to everyone. And thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. Yeah, the Crazy Motel in New York. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, cause they do got a lot of hotels there. And they even got this one that I saw, it's called Broadway something, Broadway Hotel. But I think that's a hotel that you have to share the room with everybody or the bathroom, I'm not so sure. Cause I was looking at that at booking.com. And I saw some hotel you had to share the bathroom or the bedroom or the room. It's like, you know, it's like a, like an Airbnb, like an Airbnb thing. But the only thing is that I never heard about Airbnb. Because I know Ashton Kid, he used to, you know, when he travels, he used to use Airbnb to stay wherever he's, you know, wherever he's going. Yeah, that's like a... That's like a hostel. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yes. But I know there's a lot of people they've been using this Airbnb thing instead of paying for, you know, for hotel rooms. But I know some hotels, they do got, they do got, you know, some people they can get their own room and you can get your own bathroom. But some hotels, you have to share the room and you have to share the bathroom. Yeah, it's like the Mama L and Tiger. But that's the only thing is about that. The only thing is I don't like that either. <laughs> I never share a hotel room with anyone or the bathroom. It's like I'd rather have my own room and my own bathroom. Yeah, Tiger is my cat. Yeah, I know that, L. I know that. But, uh, yeah, there are no Airbnb in New York. Oh, they do got it out here, Alan, in, in Dayton, Ohio. I know some people, they're um, doing Airbnb, and they do have people staying, like sharing, you know, like the kitchen, um, the bathroom, and the bed, and the bed, and one of the rooms. Like, they're renting their room out. Yeah, I have three cats. I had four, but had to put the oldest one down last year. Yeah. I know my ex used to have three cats, but she gave one away. But now she got two, two cats and one dog. She had two dogs. She had three cats, but she had, she had to give one up. And then she only kept two cats and the dog. But uh, the only thing is I know because I never had, I never had a cat, but I usually had a dog. But that was a long time ago when I was younger. When I was 16 and 17, I used to have a female dog. But the only thing is that that dog ran away. And then the time I went to check on the dog, the dog was gone. So I had to go and chase her and stuff like that. The time I got there, I got killed. But that happened, on, you know, a long time ago, when I was younger. Mm 
that is your cap that I have in figure in the camera. Yeah, the chat is kind of slow because I remember I went up to 17 people, but now it's kind of slow. Usually on Friday night, I usually get more people than this. But it's kind of slow tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm just here, just hanging out on a Friday night. And I already had my dinner. I had Taco Bell for my dinner tonight. I had the cheese quesadilla and I had a Dorito taco. That sounds good. And that was my dinner for tonight. So Ricardo loved the Spidey poster. It's, uh, no, Roy, that is a blanket behind me. It's not, it's not a poster, it's a blanket right behind me. So quick guy, do you ever think of trying to get a massage share stream from? I never had one Costa, but uh this is a computer chair that I that I use, but I never had one of those massage chairs. I think they are it's better to get one. But I usually when I go to the gym, they do got massage there. I use them most of the time. Yeah, bro, it's a blanket, yes. It's a spidey blanket right behind me. Yeah, I'm just checking on the temperature for tonight. Right now it's 40. And it feels like 36 right now. So I went up to 46 and it's clear right now. I love my massage chair is paid for. Oh, nice, Alan, nice. Tomorrow's supposed to be 54. Sunday's gonna be 59. Monday's gonna be 75, but it's gonna rain on Monday. 30% chance rain showers. Tuesday is going to be 69. 40% chance rain shower. And Wednesday is going to be 69. 50% chance rain and shower. So we're going to have rain all week. We're going to have rain all week. Except for next Saturday. And next Saturday is going to be 66. And next Sunday is going to be 72. Next Sunday is going to, we're going to have nice weather. It's going to be 72 next Sunday. Unless it's the weather changes. So right now it dropped to 40 right now. So that means it's a little bit cold. Chillier outside right now. Yeah, I bought it from a store called The Shopper Image. Oh, nice. Nice, Alan. So you got some good to use of it at least. Well, yeah, guys. So we're talking about hotel to stay in for a night stream. Hope everyone is enjoying it. I know it's the weekend and I know it's kind of slow because I know it's, we don't have too many, too many people. Right now we got 12 people in the chat. And honestly, I think I had with all the rain. Oh yeah, me too, Caroline. Me too, we're gonna have rain all week, starting Monday all the way until Friday. And plus thunder, storm, and lightning too as well. But the only day that's gonna be nice is next Saturday, because it's gonna go up to 66. And next Sunday, it's gonna be going up to 72. But it's gonna be sunny that day, so we, it's gonna be nice weather next Sunday. But I do get tired of the rain too, because we've been having rain all week long, all week long. Plus no sun either. The only thing is it's been cloudy outside right now. All you can see is clouds, 
But no son, father, that's the only thing. And I don't like, I don't like thunderstorm or lightning either. Cause they go so loud and they make loud, you know, like loud noises. And that's the only thing that I don't like about that. And you guys should rent a cabin in Lake George. A party at the Lake George. Oh, that's right, Kosla. We rent a cabin, then we're gonna have a party there and have fun and celebrate and all that stuff. And do some dancing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now it's down to 12 again. Yeah, that's, uh, we get lots of quicker here and no one really paying attention. It's, it's five to six. And yeah, we, and the snow here is gone. So this, we haven't got any snow here. So the last time that I saw snow, but the snow here is gone for good. No more snow. Since it's the first day of spring, but I know the first time it was cold. But the only thing is, there hasn't been no more snow, so the snow is completely done now. But uh, but the only thing we're just getting is just rain. That's what I've been getting, rain, all week, you know, all week. Rain, 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 thunderstorm, lightning. We've been getting that too. And then something about popped up on my phone saying, heavy rain near your location. Okay, they popped up on my phone every single time. If you like the stream, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining. I wish I had a peacock so I could watch WrestleMania, but I used the trial for Super Bowl. Yeah, they used to have a trial about that, um, Kosala, but the other thing is right now, Peacock Premium is $5.99 a month. I used to, I remember when I started it, it was, I was paying $1.99 for 12 months for a year, but now it's back to $5.99 monthly. But the only thing is that I still have it, but the only thing is that I like all the movies that they show on there, all the shows that I used to watch there as a peacock. But uh, I always watching a lot of shows from there on Peacock Premium, and that's why I pay for that monthly. But I would like watching the movies that they got there too. Even Oppenheimer, that movie is playing right now on Peacock right now. Oppenheimer. And how's the weather out there today, Roy? In San Francisco, over here it's just been cold. It's been it it was went up to forty nine, but now it's down to forty right now. So it feels like it's thirty six outside right now. So it's kind of cold outside right now because it's nighttime. And when it's nighttime, then it gets you know really cold outside, and it's getting like a little bit chillier out. Oh, you do. Uh, Caroline, you got Peacock? Do you got the basic one or do you have the premium one? Because they do got a basic one too as well. It's very windy here all day. Cold, but not as cold as your place. Yeah. It's been cold over here too, but not very much. But now because it's night, so it dropped to 40. But I know tomorrow it's going to be in the going to be in the 50s 
They watch a lot of Free We, and they have old school shows I have seen in a while. Yeah, I do watch that too, Caroline. And I also watch um, Amazon Prime Video because they got some movies, good movies playing on there right now. And um, Prime Video, that's another one. Yeah, I also watch Netflix. Yeah, I don't got Netflix because Netflix is going up. I remember that time that I had it, it was it was $9.99, but now it went up to $12.99 or $13.99 for Netflix. It's been going up for Netflix. Yeah, I used to I I used to have it, but I I did I did cancel it because the price on Netflix it, it keep going up. It, you know, it keep going up. And when I started it, I only was paying $9.99 monthly. But now it went up to $10.99 before, then $11.99, and then $12.99. And now it went to $13.99. Yeah, and I, when I first joined Netflix, it was a DVD rental club and no streaming. Yeah. I heard that they they um they're gonna stop doing that this year, Roy. They're not gonna be sending uh, DVDs through the mail anymore. I heard they're gonna be mm -hmm. stopping that too. And yeah, I don't got cable either. I don't got cable, but I used to have it in the past, but not anymore because cable prices that keep going up. And the only thing that I've been using is Roku, and that's how I can stream my movies, my TV shows. And that's how I watch YouTube too, as well. Yeah, I cut the cable TV core. And I didn't know they still do that. Oh yeah, they, they are still doing that. But the only thing is they're going to cut, they're going to stop doing that. I think sometime this year, they're going to stop, you know, um, the DVDs through the mail. So they're going to stop doing that because I, I know there's a lot of people They've been streaming movies at home most of the time. So nobody hasn't been renting movies because all the movies are in streaming right now. And a lot of people who wants to watch movies, they got them in streaming. And then they got, that's why they get trying to get rid of the DVD in the mail. I used to, I used to get that too. And I used to pay for that. I used to rent movies from there too as well. But I haven't, I haven't been doing that for, Quite a while now. And yeah, plus I know the prices on that, it went um, it went up too, a few times. Yeah, I want to create a DVD club for my live stream replay. Oh, nice, nice. So you can put your, like, your own live stream on a, on a DVD. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, it's crazy how everything is going. Yeah, Caroline, everything is going up. Everything, everything is going up. Because I remember when I started with Netflix, I started with nine ninety nine, but now it's, it went up to thirteen ninety nine. And I bet by two thousand twenty five, it's gonna go up again, probably fifteen ninety nine. You never know. But the only thing is, the prices on that they can go up every year. Especially rent, food, everything, closing, everything, it, you know, it's going up. Probably gas too as well. Electricity maybe too will go up too. You never know. Yeah, I could. I really do that. Too much work. Yeah, it's exactly. But I know some people, they do like to save their videos after you know finish with the stream but i know it's already on youtube but i know it goes to your you know to your gallery afterwards after you save it it goes to straight to your gallery yeah i hear hulu is 60 dollar a month yes that went up too the hulu yeah the hulu with the uh with other channels yeah that went up too because they do have a bundle too as well they got one that is with the ESPN, Disney Plus, and Hulu. That one is, I think it's like around 
thirteen. I know nine ninety nine a month for all for the bundle. But uh, they do have uh, they do got different plans for Hulu. Yeah, I say most of my live stream on the portable hard drive. Oh, on a flash drive. So you use a flash drive to uh, to save them all. Yeah, that not sixty dollars a month. Yeah, I don't think I can afford paying that, Caroline. So that's why I would never go with that because I would never, never, I can afford paying for that. Yeah, Netflix went up almost ten dollars. Crazy. Yeah, it did, Cherry Now, it. Yeah, it did because when I started it, it was nine ninety nine, and then went up to eleven ninety nine, and now thirteen ninety nine. When I save them, then are in full quality with no buffering. Exactly, that's how my stream does come out too, right? And it go into the, straight to the gallery after I get done. It goes to the gallery. But the one day um, that I did, I saved it and it goes to YouTube. But the other one, it goes into the gallery. But the only thing is that that if I keep doing that, it's going to fill up my memory. And then I'm going to have a full memory. And I know the phone that I'm using right now is, uh, it have, you know, 512 gigs, gigabyte. So if I get over that, then that's me at no more, you know, no more stream will fit in there. So I had to delete some if I want to save some again. Yeah, but it's good to save them. That way you can create clips and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because I saw that how Alan, you know, he did that too. He saved his stream and he used some of it just to... Uh, Cut it, you know, like cut it short or something and put it like in it to do like an intro. And move it into the portrait storage so you can, you don't use the app or your phone story. Exactly. Yeah. Because right now my phone has a 512 gigabyte. So if I get, if I get over that, then my, that means that my memory is full. So that means that I can, no more stream will fit in there. So I mean, I had to take out some of the old ones to put some new ones in there to, if I want to save them. But that's the only thing is. But I know I do got them on YouTube. And I know some people, that if they need some storage, so they have to take some stuff out of your phone. If you want to have, like, if you want to have, like, something new in, into it, and that's about it. Yeah, so right now we got 10 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining on this Friday night stream. And if you guys like the stream, share, like, and subscribe. And I know it's kind of slow tonight. I usually get more people than this, but it's kind of slow. But, uh... Like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. More thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining on this Friday night. And cheers to everyone. And Emily, welcome back. Oh yeah, I did enjoy your stream too, um, Roy. But the only thing is, you were having a signal problem. That's the only. Th and I was there for quite a while. I did. I was looking at that too, and I was looking at the flies and you know the butterflies and everything. And uh, Bingo Corella Records, nice to see you again. Welcome in for a nice stream. How you doing? How is your Friday night? 
Yeah, sorry, I wasn't allowed to stream inside. Oh, okay, so that's the reason you had to end it? Yeah, because I was I was enjoying that. I was I was looking at those butterflies and everything. I was I was enjoying it. Oh nice. So how is your Friday going? How is your Friday night? My Friday is going good. I'm just here, just hanging out on a Friday night. I just had a uh, Taco Bell for my dinner tonight. And that was good. So I'm just here, just enjoying the rest of the night. Yeah, it was also not good signal and the uh, method and phone has to be turned off. Oh, okay. So that's the reason why you ended it early, Roy? So how you doing, uh, Gorilla Records? Oh, okay. Okay. But I know I was there. I was, in, you know, I did enjoy it for a little bit. But I was there. I was watching. So, yeah. So, anyone who has a YouTube channel, you can put your channel here. And your channel will appear here. And if you guys want to check the weather too as well, you can check the weather here too as well. Yeah, my pleasure, Roy. But I'm gonna be ending it at two and a half hours today. So this is not gonna be a long stream since the chat is kind of slow. Cause I know I usually get more people during the weekend, but uh, says I kind of saw that I'm going to end that at two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, so I'm not doing very much today. So just hanging out on a weekend because I know the weather is not, uh, you know, it wasn't that great, but it was not, it was kind of cold today. So it wasn't very nice today. So it was kind of cold, but I was here just hanging out. Okay, Caroline, thank you for stopping in and thank you for joining tonight and uh, take care and have a good night. Have a good night, Caroline. So yeah, so we got 11 people in the chat. Thank you for coming and joining. If you like the stream, give it a thumbs up. Good night, Caroline. You too. Have a good weekend. Please stop by and hang out with Cool and say hello. But tonight's topic is let's talk about your favorite hotel to stay in for a night stream. That was tonight's topic. I know there's a lot of hotels that I like to stay in, but uh, they do got a lot of them. And I know the ones that I like to stay in is Super 8, uh, Motel 6, Holiday Inn, Quality Inn. And uh, I like the... Another hotel that I like is um, it's the Hamden Inn, but I never stay there, but I, I know one of my friends used to stay there. 
And I know their room is always clean. So their hotel is always clean. But the only thing is I don't like, <laughs> I don't like, um, yeah, I heard about that too. That's a go, good hotel too, the Barrier Hotel in Best Western. That is a good hotel too. And uh, Red Roof Inn, that's another one. They do got that out here too in Dayton, Ohio. They do got a Red, Red, Red Roof Inn. And also they do have, uh, they do got a Comfort Inn too as well. They do got that too, a Comfort Inn. But I know some of the hotels that they got everywhere, they might be a little pricey and some of them could be cheaper. And when you, when people travel, I know they always look for deals on booking.com or Priceline or Expedia. Okay, Nick Johnson, thank you for stopping in. And thank you for joining tonight and have a good night. But I guess um, since the chat is kind of slow tonight, I should end it early. Because it's kind of slow tonight. I don't have enough people. But uh, I, usually, I usually get a lot of people. But uh, it's kind of slow tonight. So maybe I should end it early. Yeah, so everyone, have a good night. And this stream is going to be over. Yeah, I usually get a lot of people on this weekend, but it's kind of slow tonight. It's kind of slow. I usually get a lot of people. Have a good night, Roy. Have a good night, Sharon L. Have a good night, Gorilla Records. Have a good night, Nick. Have a good night, Ellen, the homie food and fun. Good night, L, the original. I was thinking about streaming tonight, but I don't know. You should, um, L, if nobody else is not gonna be streaming, you should. If you like to stream, give it a thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining tonight on this Friday night. Like. Subscribe. Cheers to everyone. And thank you for watching. All right, guys, this stream is over. Have a good night. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good night, everyone.